In these problems, we're being asked to find the x-intercepts and the vertex of a parabola. The x-intercepts shouldn't be too hard because we know how to find the zeros of a quadratic. And the zeros are the x-intercepts. They're the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. To find the zeros or the x-intercepts, we're going to factor this equation. I think this one can be easily factored. So let's try this. Um, I can put x and x here. Let's see, I've got a negative thing in the middle and a negative thing on the end. That means one's going to be negative and one's going to be positive. So I'll just put those signs in there. And let's see, it has to multiply out to negative 5 and add up to negative 4. So I think that's got to be negative 5 and positive 1. That adds up to negative 4 and multiplies out to negative 5. And we'll set these equal to 0 and set each individual one equal to 0 and then solve these for x. This one will give us x equals negative 1, and this one will give us x equals 5. So those are our x-intercepts. And let's think about how this looks, because that's going to help us with finding the vertex. So here's negative 1. Here's 5. So I've got a parabola that looks something like this. So this is negative 1, and this is 5. Now, the vertex, because a parabola is symmetrical, the vertex is going to go on a line that is right between the x-intercepts. So if I find the midpoint between negative 1 and 5, which is 2, that means there's 3 on either side, that is the x value at which the vertex is going to be. And if I want to find the y a value to get the coordinate, I would just put in 2 in my original equation. So 2 squared minus 4 times 2 is 8, uh, minus 5. So 4 minus 8 is negative 5. Um, sorry, 4 minus 8 is negative 4, minus 5 is negative 9. So my y coordinate is negative 9, my x coordinate is, is 2. So the vertex is here at 2, negative 9. And my x intercepts were negative 1 and 5. All right, let's do the same thing with this next one. We get a, a, a different result here. So we'll take a look at this one. I've got y equals x squared plus 10x plus 25. So to find those x intercepts, I want to factor. Uh, everything's positive here, so these will both be positive. And I need to multiply to 25 and add to 10. That's pretty easy. That's 5 and 5. And when I solve these, set each of these equal to 0 and solve them, I just get one answer. So x equals negative 5. And what does that mean when a parabola has only one x-intercept? In this case, it's at negative 5. What it means is that that's where the vertex is. The only way you can have one point touching the x-intercept is if the parabola touches it at its vertex. So we already know the x value of our vertex. It's the same as the x-intercept. And we can plug that value in here. So negative 5 squared plus 10 times negative 5 plus 25. So this is. 25 plus 50, uh, negative 50 plus 25. And you may have already seen this is going to come out to be 0. And we knew that because this is the x-intercept. So the y value has to be 0. So the coordinates of our vertex are negative 5, 0. And our x-intercept is x equals negative 5. So that is how to find the x-intercepts and the coordinates of the vertex from an equation of a parabola.